everyone, Maria Faber here with the Restore the Heritage Tower Facebook page, and I am here speaking with Nicholas. Papa Nicolau. Thank you. I have trouble pronouncing that name. And he is a board member? Correct. For Morningstar Ministries. Correct. And he's very involved with the Heritage Tower, understands the issue, and I want him to give us any updates on what's happening with the uh, Heritage Tower project, perhaps the legal battle, anything you wish to comment on? Uh, certainly. Well, uh, as I understand it, it uh, there are simultaneous suits, some of which are pending in the state court, uh, South Carolina, and, and there's one pending in the federal court under the so-called Arlupia uh, provisions of federal law, which have to do with uh, freedom of religion. and. Um, the fact of the matter is that unfortunately, starting some 10 years ago, Morningstar was treated very, very unfairly by the uh, county executives. Uh, uh, and for some reason, there, there seems to have been some uh, uh, prejudice against this project right from the beginning. And that uh, prejudice translated itself into uh, various uh, uh, expressions of uh, what I would consider very unwise emails being sent around, you know, between the officials, the county officials, and, and a manifest uh, uh, prejudice against the project. And um, that has continued to this day. They subjected Morningstar to uh, uh, extraordinary demands uh, for a development of uh, private property. This is non-commercial property, really. It's a, this is a ministry. And so they subjected uh, Morningstar to extraordinary demands that were not made of anybody else. So it, it really was not only prejudicial, but discriminatory, I feel. Uh, and so Morningstar is, has decided to defend itself and defend its interests, uh, both in state court, uh, but more, more importantly perhaps in federal court, because when you put the behavior, the sum total of the behavior of some of these county executives, to me, as an experienced businessman, uh, I'm more than you know, 45 years in business, it really, I see a pattern here of uh, prejudice and uh, discrimination against Morningstar. And that makes it, I think, all the more perilous uh, for the county because it, it has been directed uh, against a uh, church. Uh, and uh, there are federal laws that protect uh, freedom of religion and uh, protect churches like Morningstar from such discrimination and evident uh, prejudice. And so all of this is going to come inevitably to a, to a resolution, uh, probably in federal court. And I suspect, uh, again, without wanting to appear uh, egotistical, but I suspect that with the experience that I have as a businessman for 45 years and knowing the law, and the law is actually an inevitable part of business these days, I suspect that the county is going to come to grief uh, with their behavior. Uh, I have had the opportunity to look at some uh, documents, and I think that there is a strong sense among the board members of Morningstar that this matter has got to be seen through with all legal avenues uh, explored. And um, uh, uh, so we'll see. We'll see. We, we place our faith in, in the court system and, of course, in God. Thank you so much, hmm. Nicholas.